What's up, YouTube? Uncle Forty here. A few days ago, we had a few new cards released from Legacy of Abelia, and there's some more new stuff today, um, which will become in a video after this one, because I wanted to cover the older stuff uh, first for this particular video. Um, the organization has went ahead and posted up um, this stuff uh, for you guys. Um, as you can see here, these are a good chunk of the new images of the new cards. Um, they're actually really cool. Uh, I like the art on this one, particularly. Um, but as you guys are scrolling through here, you guys will get to see the new... Uh, Slacker Magician, basically. Um, some of the older stuff here as well. Um, the first new card um, that I wanted to talk about is the Princess here. Um, she is a level 8. Um, your opponent cannot target other plant monsters for an attack, so she gives you that build-in protection. Um, this card in your position or in your possession is sent to your graveyard by your opponent's card, either by battle or by card effect. You can swap summon one plant monster from your deck except for her. Um, she's easy to bring out off of Lone Fire Blossom. I kind of wish you know Lone Fire. We get to come back to two uh, for this particular format, um, but nonetheless, it's still a very interesting card for the plant archetype. Uh, next up is Ghost Trick Mausoleum, a new Ghost Trick field spell. Um, monsters you control cannot attack, except for Ghost Trick Monsters. So, right off the bat, Ghost Trick only card, basically. Um, monsters cannot attack face down defense position monsters, but can attack directly if all monsters their opponent controls are face down defense position. So, there's no half damage or anything like that. It's just if it's straight all defense monsters, you get to attack your opponent directly. And at the end of the damage step, if a monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, change that monster to face down defense position. So, the minute you attack, it goes face down. Very, very, very nice field spell. I'm not particularly crazy about it. I still like the other one better, um, but with time, I might, you know, find out Mausoleum is better. I just got to test that a little bit more. Um, the next one is the Zexal Weapon Asura Bow, uh, so more ZW support, basically. Um, it's 1,000, 1,000. Uh, you can target one Utopia monster, equip this card from your hand or your side of the field to it, and it gains 1,000 attack, uh, and the Utopia monster can attack all of your opponent's monsters. Uh, not particularly good. A lot of the other ZW cards are better, in my opinion. Uh, the last one is the XYZ Avenger. Um, this card is unaffected by the effects of XYZ monsters. Okay, that's interesting. It's Dark Fiend 1800 attack. Okay, when this card is destroyed by battle with an XYZ monster and sent to the graveyard, activate one of these following effects based on the rank. Okay. Rank 3 or lower. Your opponent sends one card from their extra deck to the graveyard. Hmm. Okay. Rank 4. Look at your opponent's extra deck and send one card from there to the graveyard. Okay. And then rank 5 or higher. Your opponent sends a number of cards from their extra deck to the graveyard equal to the rank of the XYZ monster. So rank 5 or higher, it actually becomes very punishing. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know if the card in general is interesting. Um, but, you know, I guess the concept behind it, you know, might get some recognition later on. Um, other than that, yeah, it's just particular information about the OCG rarities uh, for the first half of the news. So, guys, tell me what you think about these first four cards. Like I said, there's some other new releases that I'm going to get to uh, shortly here uh, for you guys. So, tell me what you guys think about XYZ Avenger and the rest of the club in the comment section down below. And I'm out now, guys.